first off, give Clemson uh, full credit. Uh, you know, Coach uh, Brunell and staff uh, and their team played really, really well. Um, you know, was, I, I knew it was a little bit of a scary game because of their numbers coming into this game. And I was kept saying that they're going to get going. I mean, they're, they're a team that pretty much has the entire team back from the Sweet 16 team. I just hope they got going the next game. <laughs> and uh, But I knew their schedule was tough. And I thought playing that when they played Virginia, they had a great shot at, you know, in that early second half, and they just missed a couple shots. And so I knew it was going to be a tough test. And, and they responded. And we got punched early, and we just, we, we, you know, as we always do, we fight back. We just didn't fight back. You know, we didn't punch back right away. It just took us a little long. We dug ourselves such a hole in both the first half. The difference in the game is the way we started the first and second half, just the bottom line. And, um, um, you know, I was obviously, we, you know, with Abdullah Gay, he has an unspecified, you know, medical injury. Um, I don't know how long he'll be out. Could be out the whole season. Could be out, you know, I just don't know. So, um, uh, so that threw us off for a little bit of a loop, no excuse. Uh, but it was sort of unexpected that we weren't expecting that on that on that news today, and um, and just Brandon Austin, uh, just for a personal reason, uh, did not play today. So uh, we'll just take it one day at a time with that. Um, but you know there was some you know again, first play of the game, Reed comes off the screen and, and hits a shot, and uh, it kind of got him going. We didn't have the right coverage. James wasn't where he needed to be, and and you know for us James Banks has to anchor us. Um, and, and he, there's been games where he's just, you know, just outstanding. And then other games where he gets a little bit lost, and we need him to be consistent of being outstanding for us, for our team to have the success that we need. So, um, you know, we'll get back. We got to keep getting better. And, and we got a, another tough game on Saturday uh, versus a very good Louisville team, but it's a sellout. So we want to make sure that uh, we do our best on Saturday, and uh, we'll keep getting after it. Coach, you mentioned the beginning in the first half and the second half, the start of the both halves uh, being a problem there. Was it more of what Clemson was doing or what you guys weren't doing? Well, I mean, that's probably both. I mean, you know, I mean, Sims comes in and he's hitting one for 10 from three in, in, in ACC and he hits two threes. And Scara, David Scara, you know, you look at his numbers from three in ACC and he hits three threes today. And Reed had not been scoring like that. And today he just... He was really, really good, and we and, and we got let I let him to have some confidence early, and that got him going. So I think it was both. There were some things we didn't do, but it was also you got to give a lot of uh, credit to Clemson. They did a great job, and and I think they're a dangerous team. I mean, they're really good. I know they came in 0 and 3, but they had a tough schedule. I mean, again, they they got they're a preseason top 20 team, and they got their whole team back from the Sweet 16 team pretty much. So you know, they're a very good basketball team. You uh, you basically had no bench offense with Brandon and without AD. How difficult is that for you to kind of to get work around, when, especially when you well, start struggling? Well, the, the struggle was, and again, this is no, I'm not making excuses. It was that regarding, you know, AD, it was, we were planning, and then, you know, it was just the timing. We didn't have a real chance to adjust, you know, on some things because we were, we were planning on both him and James, you know, two posts, and we were kind of doing some things. <coughs> I thought it was going to work for us, and unfortunately it didn't, it didn't happen. And um, so we'll have to get back and figure it out. Um, uh, you know, we'll have to get better off the bench. And, and I did, obviously, the starting group in both the first and second half wasn't real effective today and because of our starts. And, and again, we fight, scrap. As you, everyone knows who's covered us for three years, we, we've done that every time we've got down. We always come back. We just buried ourselves too much of a deep hole against a very good team and just, you know, we just couldn't get over the hump. What was going on with Jose? I mean, Coach, it seemed like he was having some issues with him around. Yeah, he, he had hurt his groins. That's why I pulled him out the last four minutes. He said his groin was really bothering him. So I'm hoping that's nothing. We'll see with our trainers and see what they say. And at the start of both halves, did you say energy was part of the issue for Nigeria? Yeah. Bringing a guy down, trying to find I him was him trying to – yeah, because I, I sensed it in both halves that we were just lethargic, and, and I don't know why. Um, you know, we had a great film session last night. Um, um, uh, we, had, we had two great days of practice. I just – you know, I don't know if it's because of the personnel change and some things that we didn't expect kind of became unexpected. Um, but that's part of us, of a, of a maturity of a youth, that we've got to be able to, you know, handle that. And I, and, and Michael DeVoe and Jose Alvarado, you know, weren't as effective today. We need them to be effective. You know, we only had seven assists on 21 made field goals. I thought both those guys kind of pounded a little bit too much. But, 
you know, those guys are going to continue to grow together and, 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 and they're going to continue to get better. And this is just part of, you know, Michael's a freshman, Jose's a sophomore, and we need those guys to be able to create for us on some, on some stuff. It seemed like they didn't respect Moses a lot, and that kind of messed up some of the cutting lanes and opportunities in offense. They didn't guard, they didn't, yeah, and, and again, I we planned on, you know, I, we just had a different game plan coming in, you know, because of, of AD. So, again, we just will have to figure it out. And But Moses came in and did some good things, I mean, even around the basket. Um, and and I saw I thought Sylvester came in and gave us good minutes, so um, <clears throat> it was just it's 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 you know we had one way but we had a shift and 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 in the shift you were doing more in the course of the day in the course of the game and um, and we'll keep have to tinker in and figure out a way and we got a really tough game on Saturday and that's what's great about this league I mean it's just every night you're playing someone great and and again you got to give Coach Brunel a lot of credit as well too and. and so I think they're a very, very good basketball team. Very, very well coached and very good basketball team. A couple more. Did Missouri make the trip? He made the trip and then he had, we had to send him home. Why is he not home today? Or? Unspecified medical <laughs> injury. And what about Brandon? Did he come out today? Or? He did not come on the trip. One more. It seems like you keep getting dealt these different blows and kind of having to adjust on the fly. I imagine it's frustrating because it seemed like you'd kind of come up with your system with AD and, and James and that was kind of getting people in trouble. Yeah, no, I, 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 we spent two days of practice on Monday, Tuesday. We, we had some good stuff. I thought we were going to be ready to go and um, it just, you know, sometimes the ball doesn't bounce the way that you need it to bounce and that's what's, that's what's amazing about, you know, sports and basketball and, and, but the great thing is it gives you some time to adjust and you're going to we're going to have to adjust and deal with it and, um, and, and prepare that, you know, regarding AD that might not be there. So we've got to figure it out and, and, and take the next couple of days to readjust back to who we are. And with AD, is that a situation where you'll know something down the line or is it just I'm hoping to know. I'm hoping to know in the next few days kind of a plan, so, you know, so, you know, uh, and obviously, you know, when we do media on Friday, I should have something for you guys when you guys ask me on Friday. Thank you. Yep. Thank okay. You Thanks, everybody.